Only apply the gel at undamaged areas of your skin and make sure it doesn't come in contact with your eyes, nose or mouth. If it does come in contact, then rinse it immediately with a lot of water. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use benzyl peroxide. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we cover all kinds of skin related problems and drugs. And for those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and let's get started. Now the generic name of this medication is benzyl peroxide and it's sold under the brand name Benzac and it's available as a gel. Now then, how should you use benzyl peroxide? Clean your skin with lukewarm water before applying the gel. Apply the gel in a thin layer, do not massage it and do not rub it in. Only apply the gel at undamaged areas of your skin and make sure it doesn't come in contact with your eyes, nose or mouth. If it does come in contact, then rinse it immediately with a lot of water. Here it's also important to note that the gel has a bleaching effect, so avoid contact with your hair, eyebrows or with any clothing. And in addition, you should not apply benzoic peroxide right before, during or after your sunbathing. To avoid this, it's best to apply this medication in the evening. Now then, when to use this drug? As you might already know, benzoic peroxide is used to treat acne. You can expect results in 4-8 to eight weeks after you started using it, but it can take upwards of 3 months. And if you're benefiting from benzoic peroxide, you should continue using it until all of your acne is gone. Now this brings us to the correct dosages to use and usually your doctor prescribes you benzoyl peroxide of 5% which you should apply once a day, preferably in the evening. However, if this is insufficient and you do not have too many side effects, your doctor might increase the dosage to twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, or you might change your dosage from 5% gel to gel with 10% of benzoyl peroxide. This might also be effective. Now usually benzoyl peroxide is a very effective drug, but it unfortunately has some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. When applying the gel, it usually has only local side effects. Very commonly we see a mild burning sensation on the area you apply the gel. You can get a red skin reaction, dry skin and scaling. This is usually seen in the first few weeks. Commonly, patients might experience itching, irritation and pain locally and uncommonly it might cause eczema. Now, considering the safety, you can combine benzoyl peroxide with any type of food, with alcohol, in moderation of course, and you can drive safely while using this drug. However, it can have some interactions with other ointments, creams or gels. Therefore, don't apply them at the same time. If you're applying benzoyl peroxide in the evening, then apply the other drugs in the morning. This will decrease your chances on skin irritation or any other interaction. And as always, we end off by taking a look at the safety of benzoyl peroxide while pregnant or while breastfeeding. And luckily, it's safe to use in both cases. But just to make sure, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use benzoyl peroxide because that's the whole point of this video. If you did, leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously. And if you want to keep continue learning, then check out the playlist I made in the description or check out the video up there. Furthermore, consider subscribing so you never miss such an awesome medical video again, which will also help me to reach my new subscriber milestone, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you, and as always, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.